Interphase is the period of growth that the cell must go through before entering meiosis. During interphase, the cell's chromosomes are duplicated and are still in the form of chromatin. The duplicated chromosomes are sister chromatids and will soon be joined together by a centromere. The chromatin remains inside the nuclear envelope while a pair of centrioles are located outside of the nucleus. The centrosome is an area in the cell where microtubules are produced and consists of two centrioles. Meiosis 1 begins with prophase 1. In prophase 1, the cell is a diploid, meaning that there is more than one set of chromosomes. Duplicated chromosomes become condensed into hom homologous pairs, which then form tetrads. The nuclear membrane is already partially broken down along with the nucleolus that continues to break down until it disappears at metaphase 1. Asters, which are only located in animal cells, have microtubules surrounding each pair of centrioles. During prophase 1, synapsis occurs. The tetrad of a homologous pair exchanges information with chromatids by crossing over at the chiasma to make unique chromatids. In order to move the chromosomes to be able to perform the next process in meiosis, the spindle fibers must attach to the kinetic cores of the chromosomes to allow them to move. In metaphase, the spindle fibers then pull the chromosomes to the equator and line the homologous pairs up side by side as tetrads. In anaphase 1, the microtubules help to stretch the cell out by extending the poles, which then the homologous pair separate into the two opposite poles of the cell forming. Through spindle fibers, fibers the chromosomes can move to the opposite ends. During telophase, the spindle fibers begin to break down and the chromosomes uncoil. A cleavage furrow forms in the middle of the cell and cytokinesis then occurs. This yields two new daughter cells with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. This means that two haploid cells are now formed. Meiosis 2 begins. There, the chromosomes are not duplicated after telophase 1. In prophase 2, the centriole pair splits to two different sides of the cell connecting to the chromosomes at the kinetic core of the chromosomes. The motor proteins help move the chromosomes towards the equator for metaphase 2. In metaphase 2, the spindle fibers line the chromosomes up randomly at the equator. The connectocores of the sister chromatids point towards opposite poles. During anaphase 2, the sister chromatids break apart from each other, which then move to the opposite poles of the cell through the spindle fibers. During telophase 2, nuclei reform at the opposite poles. The spindle fibers again break down and the cytoplasm divides during cytokinesis. Four daughter cells are now produced with half the number of chromosomes of the original parent cell, making them haploid cells.